we have arrived here in Bulawayo yesterday afternoon and we are here now this morning ready to start the first Sunday school teaching of our road trip. We are doing seven cities in the whole road trip. So this is the first one and we are all feeling a bit nervous and a bit excited about what God is going to do and we are expecting great things. So let's go and see what's happening. I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. You know, it is said that we remember only 30% of what we hear. We remember 40% of what we see. We remember 60% of what we do. So, if we hear something, if we see something and we do something, then it is said that we will remember 90% of this. So the best way for all of us to learn, and especially for children, is to see, to hear, and also to do. And that is why we do class in our Sunday schools. I've already asked a volunteer to come and help me. Pastor Pundo, come and you can do the nice easy job for me. There you go. Your job is very simply to put the toothpaste back in the toothpaste back into the toothpaste bowl. He's looking a bit daft at that. You don't, you don't think you can do it? Can it? Do you think it's impossible? Uh, a little bit will go in. A little bit will go in, so we won't bother. Yeah, okay. I also used a tube of toothpaste, which I emptied out. And it's also, when it was empty, I asked up one of the pastors to put it back into the tube, which related to when we speak bad words, when we hurt people. We can't put the words that we hurt people with back into our mouths. So we have to be careful about what we speak about and, and how we react to make sure that the words we say are honouring to the people we are with. The importance of crafts that can reinforce the, the lesson, the Bible lesson that they've learned. Um, it also helps them to remember um, the lesson once they go home and they can take home a craft and they can share that with their family, with their friends, uh, especially if their friends or family are not Christians. And then they can share the message, uh, the Bible message that they've learned. And then we, I showed them some examples of crafts. Then we divided them into groups and uh, each, there was four stations and the people had to move around to different stations um, learning how to make these crafts. There was sheep um, that they could use for various Bible stories. Um, there were crosses, different kinds of crosses um, for different age groups of children. Um, there were door hangers that they could design themselves um, and that could be used for numerous Bible stories. Uh, what I've loved today is I've learned about the craft trick. I've learned about the children, that the kids they also need time to be taught. I have to plan for the children before going to church. I have to give myself time and plan for what, to, what I'm going to teach them in Sunday school. Not like Sunday morning, then I start to prepare. I have to take my time and prepare everything for the kids. Today I learned how to teach children. That when we teach children, children will be using big words like righteousness and everything. Like when we are teaching the three years old, if at home they are speaking Shona, we should speak their language. Our kids have been deprived of proper teaching methods uh, in the Sunday school. I tell you, um, it's a pity that uh, we've been, in a way, abusing them because as you taught us, the way we read to them, um, sometimes we don't even dramatize, we don't even, you know, use actions. We expect them to catch up on the scriptures the way others do, which is different. And um, honestly, this is a powerful ministry. Um, personally, I'm touched. And hopefully, um, I'm even thinking of starting a church full of kids only. <laughs> kids, they learn from the age of their first year, probably up to their seventh year, they grasp everything right there up until they are old. So once they are fed with the right stuff uh, during their first years, they will not forget what they have learned. So personally I would say Mona Ministries should not only come back to Blaue but come and stay. We want offices for Mona here here in Bulawayo? Yeah. In Kusa, I would love to learn more about teaching children and all the, the stuff 
concerning children. Well, that was day one of our exciting road trip and it went out with a blast. We had fun, there was lots of Sunday school teachers and pastors, which was really encouraging, having the pastors and seeing the pastors grasping the word and the importance of the, teaching the children makes such a difference for the teacher and ultimately for the children. So I'm really encouraged for that. I'm encouraged for the response. People have been coming to us saying how much they've learned and we're looking forward to tomorrow where we can go on and do the puppet training and how to evangelize children. So. It's been great and we're looking forward to a bit of rest this evening because we are quite tired.